Hi guys, today we're here to show you how you can use the Migaku browser extension to learn your target language while watching videos from YouTube, Netflix, and local video files. Kieran's actually got a really great guide put together for you guys, so take it away, Kieran. Hello everyone. As we know, YouTube and Netflix are an incredible resource for language learners. These platforms have content available from countries all over the world often with subtitles in both your target language and your native language, and can be a valuable asset in getting the input required in order to make huge gains in your listening and reading skills. Today, we will present the Migaku browser extension, which after a recent update will become your most powerful tool in reaching fluency in your target language. The first step is to find some content that you would like to watch on YouTube or Netflix. If you need help with this or are not sure where to start, you can check out the Immersion Catalog over at our website, migaku.io, to find engaging content that is perfect for your level. Or you can ask members of our community, either in the Migaku subreddit or in our Patreon Discord server, links for which can be found in the description of this video. Once you have found a video that you would like to watch, the first thing you should do is select the subtitle tracks that you would like to use. There is a main track, which is for your target language, and there is a secondary track where you can put your native language if you wish. In this case, we will select Japanese for our main track and English for our secondary track. Please note that you might need to change the font settings to choose a font that supports your target language. You can do this in the text and font tab of the Migaku extension settings. Now that we've chosen our subtitles and set our font preferences, we can open the subtitle browser which lets us view all of the subtitles in the currently loaded main subtitle track. We can use the left and right keys to skip back and forth through the subtitles of the video. As you can see, the current subtitle is always displayed at the top of the subtitle browser. We can also right click on a subtitle action box in the browser to jump to that subtitle. While immersing, it is simple to look up words in the Migaku dictionary. Just highlight the text that you want to search and click the search icon. Alternatively, you can press the E key to search highlighted text. Next, we will show you how you can make Anki cards instantly. First, you should allow recording on your current tab by clicking Allow Recording in the Migaku extension drop down menu. Now we can make Anki cards with text, images, and audio instantly. When there is a subtitle on screen, you can click the Anki icon and a card will be sent to the Migaku exporter or you can click the Anki icon next to any subtitle in the subtitle browser. The Migaku card exporter now has a checkbox to automatically add definitions for unknown words, as well as a checkbox to instantly add cards created by the Migaku browser extension. When combined, this allows the true one-click card creation of Anki cards of the highest possible quality. You can select multiple subtitle lines by left clicking on a subtitles action box in the subtitle browser before pressing the Anki icon. Finally, we have added a new hotkey to make exporting cards as easy as possible. Whenever a subtitle is shown on the screen, you can press the Q key to export that subtitle. Alternatively, you can select subtitles from the subtitle browser and press Q to export those selected subtitles. Vous m'ouvrez pas? En fait, je pourrais être chiante. Je sais pas, je pourrais vous demander de m'offrir la pizza, par exemple. There is also an export all feature, which can be used to create Anki cards for all subtitles. This can take some time, of course, so a progress bar will open in Anki letting you know the current completion percentage. During the export process, you can browse the internet in a different window, but you should not open a new tab or change the current tab in the window being recorded, or the extension will be unable to capture screenshots for your cards. Parsing is available for all the languages you see on screen now and support for more languages such as Korean and Arabic is currently being worked on and will be added in future updates. So be sure to subscribe to this channel to stay notified as those updates are released. We're going to select Japanese subtitles, but before we pass them, let's enable word learning status underlining, pitch accent coloring, and pitch shapes. 
For details on each of these features, please see our full browser extension guide in the tools section of our website at migaku.io. You can also find a direct link to the guide in the description of this video. We will also enable a new feature, only unknown as our display type, which will only show furigana for unknown words. As you can see, unknown words are now underlined in red and have furigana. Each one T word is highlighted in yellow, and when we hover a past word, we can see further information about it, such as its reading and pitch accent. Just as with Japanese, there is similar functionality available for each of our supported languages that is specific to that language. You can check out the full guide at migaku.io for more details. As we said, when we hover a past word, we see additional information, such as pitch accents, readings, and learning status. If you have installed the accent audio for Japanese, you can also click the word and play native audio for that word. Also, to search a word in the Migaku dictionary, you can simply hover the word and press the E key. Another feature that is available after parsing is the export 1T function. This button will export flashcards for all sentences that contain one unknown word in the sentence. This can be useful for making many effective flashcards quickly so that you continue to enjoy your immersion. Next, let's talk about the different playback functionality we offer. We have four different playback types, default, reading, recall, and hidden. In simple terms, default plays the video as normal with subtitles. <laughs> Reading pauses before each subtitle, allowing you to read the line before playing it. Recall plays the line without subtitles, then pauses at the end and displays the subtitles, allowing you to check you heard the sentence correctly. Mate. Hidden plays the video as normal, but hides the subtitles on screen until you pause. We also have different skip modes, such as two times mode, which plays the video at two times speed if there is no dialogue. You can download the subtitles for a show for later reading by simply clicking the download button in the extension toolbar. Besides YouTube and Netflix, you can also watch local video files in the browser with Migaku Player. To open Migaku Player, click the Migaku Player link in the extension drop down menu. Then, to load a video, simply drag and drop a video file from your computer. Not all video formats can be supported in the browser, so please use Migaku MPV for any files that aren't supported. To load a subtitle, click Subtitle Settings. You can add both a main and a secondary track. To load a main subtitle, click Select SRT File and choose your subtitle file. Then, change the language to match the language of the chosen subtitles and click Import SRT. Now everything is set up and you can watch the video with all the same functionality that we have seen before, such as the subtitle browser and language parsing. That's everything for now. If you found this video useful, leave a like and comment below which shows you plan to watch to become fluent in your target language. Right now, the Migaku browser extension is a Patreon supporter exclusive. So please consider supporting us and getting access to it today. Thanks, Kieran, and thanks everyone for watching today's video. We have some really cool projects in the pipeline that we can't wait to share with you. And thanks so much to everyone who supports our work. We hope you continue to find value in what we do. Well, Till the next time, see ya.